Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca, and this is the True uh, A6.0 Hair Trigger Goalie Stick. So this is True second, I think, gen composite sticks. First one was just A6.0, this one is the Hair Trigger. Um, so the Hair Trigger on their player sticks is for their low kick sticks, hence the Hair Trigger. You don't have to put a ton into it and you get a big whip. That's kind of their idea for this stick as well. Um, so I've used this only, honestly, a couple of hand, a handful of times, and there's a reason for that. Um, so I guess let's just jump in. Well, first I'm going to talk about the things I do like about this stick. Um, it's fairly lightweight. It isn't the lightest stick on the market, and at $300, honestly, it should be up there or should be there. So I think the price for this stick is kind of mispriced in that sense because it's not compete. It doesn't compete with uh, the new Warrior CR1 Plus or VR1 Plus, sorry, Plus Pro, Pro Plus, whatever and the uh, 2S Pro, um, this stick is heavier than both of those. So that's kind of disappointing for the price point. It should be competing with them. Um, but the thing I love about this stick is the grip. So True does this nice matte grip all the way through the paddle. It's more, rel or like you can tell, it's more here. And then it kind of goes away as you go up the shaft, as well as it goes away when you go down the paddle. Um, so I like that grip. I think it's a nice mix of grippiness, but as still allowing you to poke check and actually handle the stick fine. Um, I have issues with some of the grippier sticks where I have to sand them down. I did a video on that. Um, so I like that about True. Uh, the looks of it are just whatever. It's just it's pretty simple, so it's not a big issue with me. I like how they do like the blacked out True up here. It's always a nice little touch. Um, but I really like the shaft feel, and I really like like holding it in your hand. I like how the blade is. It has a bit of a texture to it. Um, not a ton, but a little bit on the front. Um, nothing big. The, my main complaint with this stick, and the reason why I'm doing this review so fast, um, is it vibrates way too much. Um, so usually I use equipment a lot longer than what I use this, but I'm not going to use this anymore because I just don't like it, and I'm uh, going to move on from it. Um, so with that said, this stick vibrates like no other stick I've ever used, uh, no other goalie stick I've ever used. And it's pretty ridiculous in my opinion. Um, one of the main complaints about old composite sticks or composite goalie sticks to begin with was when a puck, when you stop a shot, your hand vibrates, like it would vibrate so much it would be uncomfortable in your hand. I never had that issue with any of the goalie sticks I've ever used before. Now I'm kind of late to the game. My first composite goalie stick was a Warrior CR1. Um, so that's, I wasn't around for the earlier generations to actually have issues with that until I use this stick. Now, I, so like I said, I've used it a few times. I've taken pucks off it. You can see there is no damage on it at all. It's still in great shape. There's some grip kind of coming off here, but that's just grip. So that's not a big issue. No damage at all to the stick itself. So I, I can't comment on durability, but when I was making saves with this, it felt like I was using just a straight up piece of, I won't say rebar, because that's a little unfair for weight, but this, every time a puck hit this, my hand would vibrate like crazy. Um, so it has their bladed ribs in the actual paddle. I'm not sure if that's what's causing it, but you can hear that's pretty like alive and pingy. I love that on player sticks. For this, it was way too much. Any shot to the paddle, especially to the shaft, my hand would kind of like it wouldn't, I don't know if my hand was shaped, but I would definitely feel the, like the vibrations going throughout the stick and it made it really uncomfortable. Um, I'm not going to say painful. It was uncomfortable. And with that, I thought I was using a Paso blocker when I was doing this. And I thought it was the blocker that was giving me issues. Went to a blocker I'm used to and comfortable with and it happened again. So I know it was the stick. Um, and it, it kind of wears out your hand after a while, to be totally honest. You keep getting shots and your hand feels that vibration and your hand gets uncomfortable. And it kind of like makes your hand a bit tired from that. Um, so because of that, and I the last time I used this, I was going to use it a couple more games and then do a review on it. Um, the last time I used it, I took a shot in the warm up off the paddle or the shaft. And it was just my hand. I was like, oh, okay, that's it. And I just put it away because I'm, I'm like, I don't want to damage a stick or anything because I'm kind of done with it and uh, it will not be in my rotation any longer. Um, I can't comment on how this stick shot, to be totally honest. I haven't got enough usage out of it. It is a smaller stick compared to what I'm used to. I usually use 27, so it does take a bit of adjustment for me to shift from the longer stick to the shorter stick in terms of just actually shooting. Um, I never got any good shots off with this, to be totally honest. Everything I tried to shoot, it felt like the blade was just slipping out under me and I couldn't really get much on it. But I'm not a good puck handler, so I'm not the best um, 
Like, I'm not the best at reviewing that part of goalie sticks. I can more talk about how the stick actually plays and everything like that. Um, so it the balance I'll say wasn't awful in terms of like I could use I could poke check with it fine. I could bat pucks away fine. So I had no issues with that. Um, it almost to me felt a little bit like right in my hands right now. It feels blade heavy, and I kind of feel like that's pretty close to what it always felt like. Um, and if, if it's a little bit too much weight on the blade itself, but my other my big issues are uh, are with the vibration. So that's why I'm moving on from the stick. So I, there's no way I can recommend this to anyone. I've heard bad things in terms of durability. Um, and I can give firsthand experience in terms of how awful the vibrations are on this. Um, this is honestly the worst goalie stick I've ever used. And I mean, worst goalie stick I've ever used, especially for the price point. So that's about my review for this. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Hopefully it was helpful. Uh, remember to like this video, subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, links are in the description. It helps me get gear like this so I can do reviews on and make some more content. Um, and so like videos like this where I can warn you not to purchase this stick. Um, and if you ever do purchase a piece of equipment because of one of my videos, please do type to the manufacturer on social media. It helps me get uh, on their radar. So again, I might be able to get some demo stuff so I can test out and do reviews on. So thank you very much for watching and take it easy.